It's Warcraft Day. Greetings everybody, this is Stormy with the capital Z coming back at you with another replay request. It's gonna be a replay request by none other than once again Mofad who is spawning over here on the right as the TL Undead player. And he will be going up against a player known as Amnesia. Now, it's kind of giving me a feeling. This name seems a bit similar. And I don't know if I've cast uh, one of his games earlier or if I literally did cast this very game. But, could be a possibility. Like, I'm not going to rule it out. And we have the Ancient of War uh, creep camp being set up over here. It's going to be an idol versus Undead. And, uh, of course, just like always, I like to put it down that anybody and everybody is welcome to send me replays for the replay request series to know more about how you can send me your replays you can join the discord server link to that is on the twitch panel and in the description below as we await the altars going to be wondrous eternal like a while something just uh maybe do i notice this is like probably the only map this uh, and Twisted Meadows, but even Twisted Meadows is used less and less in tournaments these days. This is literally like the only map that's uh, being used in tournaments anymore. Like, this is a popular map from the very old, from the very early stage of Warcraft. This was there when Warcraft 3 Fro The Frozen Throne launched, so a pretty old map. Demon Hunter for Amnesia. And Mofat going in for Death Knight. As we have a lot of Wisps and a lot of Acolytes, or rather just a single a singular Acolyte there. Lurking around the map. Trying to know what is cooking. I'll pull in two Wisps. And Mofat will have the intel on what hero his opponent went in for. A player's forces are under I doubt that crazy Steve over here it will manage to escape. The wrath of the de demon hunter unless until he gets killed by the creeps and that he will wow for a moment i thought he got the kill for with the engine of war there but no he didn't he got it with the death uh, with the demon hunter we have mofad uh, taking up Pretty early tech, I must say. No graveyard tech, that is. Into the war, took some heavy damage, but will manage to recover just fine. And it appears that he will try to migrate it towards this camp over here as well and use it to creep out the expansion. As the demon hunter, along with the claws of attack plus nine, are, are you serious? Whoa, that's a lot, man. That's a lot. He's going in with claws of attack plus nine, and that's going to be increasing the da damage output by a lot. And a burn going down, and all the mana has been drained out from the death knight now. Oh, this is such a bad position for getting the ensnare. As we have Mofa denying the kill to his opponent, rather. Demon Hunter gonna wait right outside the base of uh, Mofad. And what do we have here? Some creeping beginning over here. And actually rather a risky camp, I must say. Because that's, that's a lot of units there. Like, that's a lot of low HP units. Which can be taken out by archers and stuff. But you have your building in danger then. And we have Amnesia keeping Mofad at bay, not letting him creep around and also trying to deal as much as damage as possible. Currently just having a poke and run attempt. And until the Acropolis is not a hall of dead, we're not going to be having that attack. So currently Amnesia in a good position. He just got his demon a bit weak, but he can just bring it back and that's exactly what he's going to do. He's just going to wait for... Mofat to move out of his base and then go and attack him. Is he gonna go in for the creep camp though? He's expecting Mofat to come up here or no. 
I wasn't expecting, but oh, this could be bad. Mana burn. So new nuke. A lot of mercenaries being picked up there, and oh no no, the demon hunter getting to level three actually. Wow. And he knows that there's no mana on the death knight, so he's safe. He is very safe. Not a bad creep route, I must say. Go for this one, then this one. I mean, if you manage to take out this one, this one isn't really a big challenge. Gonna go towards the goblin merchant, pick himself up a staff of teleportation, and go to speed. A player's and war coming down, tier attack. 2, almost complete for. Isiak, as he goes in for the expansion as well, along with his mercenary units, and he has a second hero that's gonna be a panda, okay. Interesting choice. Breath of Fire is really good versus low HP units, can just burn and barbecue them down. Against Undead, I wouldn't really say it's a bad choice, but... It's more useful against uh, armies like ghouls, footmen, priests, etc. Rather than fiends, but we'll eventually see the use of uh, that on the fiends as well. But you definitely need to get that panda to level 3 in order to actually effectively deal any kind of damage. Level 1 build of fire isn't really gonna be that uh, devastating. We have a Mesiac still lurking around the base of Mofad. Mofad is kinda having a situation where he can't move uh, way too out of his base. You say you see I kinda has him well at least had him pinned to his area for some time. As he only now goes back. Panda is level two. Are we gonna creep a bit more? Yes we are. The drunken hazard and are we gonna have Breath of Fire as well? I guess we are not. I like how Amnesiac just uh, used his Demon Hunter just a bit to attack uh, and deal some damage, get that Ogre Mauler down to low HP and then went in for it. We have Demon Hunter going in towards the expansion of Mofad, where Mofad is currently trying to creep. That was a good item there for the Demon Hunter, with Mofad luckily picked up, because if he didn't, that, that would have been a situation for him. Mana has been burned out and Amnesiac knows that, so he can just walk away, he can just run away without having to... Uh, be forced to use his TP. And Mofad is done creeping at the expansion. So yeah, this is the situation right now. Mofad is about to be level 3. Um, Lich is... Mofad is a death knight that is about to be level 3. Lich having plus 10 damage with 2 claw of rack plus 5. We're gonna have level 2 in some time. And on the side of Amnesiac, he's gonna have 3 and 3. After he crept out this camp. And gonna save that Shadow Priest! A Shadow Priest has been with you for so long, like you really didn't really want to have to lose it. And we have an expansion coming down to as well by Amnesiac. So far, great gameplay there. Combination of uh, multi-tasking, creeping uh, with your units and having your Demon Hunter deal basically be a Blade Master, I must say, in a way. And then after that, eventually picking up the expansion once you have your second hero, like Amnesiac is doing really well. And uh, yes, in the last game I was incorrect. <laughs> the poison string is already there on Dryers. You get abolished magic upgrade. A town is under siege. Not exactly sure, I guess that attack missed it there. <laughs> Battles coming up. But the players are gonna avoid it, or rather Mofad is just gonna go and pick himself a Dark Ranger. Could I just try to pick it up with a singular unit though? Or maybe just better to prepare your army together. He's closing in with the Unholy, unholy Aura there. Isiac is in a situation and now uh, Mofad sees the expansion and he knows he needs to do something about that. Detonation and oh man, you gotta be so frustrated if your Death Knight does not have mana. Breath of Fire, Drunken Hazard. Good amount of overtime damage there across the board. 
but he got some overtime time healing there as well with the optional statue. That knight is going to be burned out again. Big breath of fire. And now the units are down to 50%. Just need to snipe down with the dryads. Death Knight does not have enough mana. And this combination is working out perfectly for Amnesiac. Death Knight. Death Knight is low. He's trying to target the Lich. Try to target that Fiend, though, to be honest. Fiend only just burrowed out, so that would be a thing. There's a burrowed in Fiend over here, though. And uh, we're gonna have some Staff of Teleportation, I guess. Or rather, Staff of Preservation. More Dryads coming in. Poor little Wisp falling prey to Mofad's army. Mofad with a 3 2 1 hero combination. And Moffat's making a big mistake right now. He's pushing in towards his opponent without buying a TP. And he is way far away from any source of TP. From his own shop and from his opponent's, uh, from his rather, the, are under the attack. goblin shop, the neutral shop. And if Amnesiac were to attack Moffat right now, there would be no way for Moffat to return back. Apart from literally walking. So whether he attacks the expansion or he attacks the main, Amnesiac will be ahead. If it comes down to a base race. Moffat is calculating his move right now, staying outside Amnesiac's base. I guess he uh, waiting for a unit to come out over here and kind of find out where Amnesiac is, which direction he needs to go to. Now he's going in towards the expansion. Moffat breaking up keep. Here comes Amnesiac. Demon are eating that death coil frost nova combination. Big brother fire with drank and hazard combination. Riders are so weak. You got some more drives coming in from the back. That's something I didn't see. It's a mana burn on that DK. The Lich is down. Almost down. Big brother fire. Lich is almost level 3 as well. Lich is being targeted by the Ryans! <gasps> Leveled up and save itself! Oh, if we didn't level up, this would have been a dead Lich. Bombation gets taken out. Fiends are being murdered now. Again, trying to burrow, but they're still getting murdered. Level 4 on that Demon Hunter. Destroyer upgrade, and the Destroyer will manage to escape. No Arbo Venom over here, so he'll, he'll manage to escape. He'll be fine. This should have been a dead lich. But getting that last kill and letting your lich go up to level 3 was exactly what saved it. Got a sentry over here just to know if uh, Moffat is going to expand. Nisiak going in from the south. Units affected by the plague. Both are breaking up. Keep. Amnesiac has already done that. And now I must really point out one thing. Amnesiac, this part of the expansion, isn't exactly uh, having too many units above his upkeep. Like, it's not really a productive use of the expansion. Have the expansion go all the way up till 70. Like, there's really no reason to wait. Oh wow, Jockey are there. <laughs> Baby said that Mofat is losing. <laughs> level 4 on that panda, man. The drunken has that level 2 now. What's the item? Tome of Strength and Cloth of Attack plus 9. Just give it to the... Uh, he has the claws on the panda. 
It's rather surprising. I would rather have it on the Demon Hunter, to be honest. Like, Demon Hunter is my damage dealer, man. Demon Hunter is my DPS. Fuck is like, yes, I'm totally not here. Oh, and Demon Hunter, what the hell was that? What the hell was that? The Demon Hunter went from full to almost getting taken out. And we have a TP forced. Good for Amnesiac that he didn't lose a single unit there, though. Maybe going in for a third hero would be a good idea for Amnesiac. An Alchemist would be a good choice. To bring out the beef in the army. I like beefy choices and oh no 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 he's gonna face that again if he's if he sticks in there for too long. But he knows he needs to do something about that. Jockey says I'm de nuke OP and yes I agree that nuke is just OP like I mean what was that? Demon Hunter went from like 750 HP to almost null and uh, Amnesiac was quick enough to back it out and TP away otherwise that would have been a dead Demon Hunter. A player's force. Like talking about the Lich leveling up and saving itself is something, but that split second hero kill, like seriously, that was something else. There are a lot of Dryads here, but no frontliners. Only now we're gonna have some Druid of the Claws coming in, but they don't even have the final upgrade. These are gonna be in Druid form, and the Demon Hunter goes down. This game is falling into the hands of Mofad. A lot of dryads there, but really the dryads, if they're nearby to all the fiends there, and if all the fiends can attack together a single dryad, they're gonna take it out. Like, there's no doubt about it. They can two shot or one sh well, I don't know, maybe even one shot a dryad if they're doing it with a lich. We have the first attack upgrade. The dryads got two attack upgrades though. Pro tip, if you play versus Mofad, need an anti-magic potion, yes. Well, if you play versus Undead, basically, you just need an anti-magic potion, like, if you do that, then, like, no more here you're nuking. Expansion for Amnesiac just got taken out, wrecked down. And he's rather busy picking up, picking up units that are making their way towards uh, Mofad's army. Mofad has 67 food of an army, Amnesiac below upkeep. So this is just the thing, like, Mofad never had an expansion this game. Amnesiac had the expansion all the time. It's Amnesiac who should have had the higher food count. And the higher food count is coming into the play right now. Mofad's gonna go after, I mean Amnesiac's gonna go after Mofad, but really this is not gonna work out well for him. The number of riots are really good there, but they're not going to be able to actually fight against the army of Mofad there. Like, the Dryad almost got one-shotted, like, look at it. Look at it, and there we go. Green projectile. Green projectile is just weird at times. What are they doing? They're going in for an attack. And just like that, the demon order goes down. Game goes into the hand of Mofad. Jockey says it's so slow that you can follow a target for so long. Think about Fiend Projectile. That was an okay game. I would say Amnesiac made some mistakes. So did Mofad, but at the end of the day, he's the one that got the victory, so... So, that's gonna be all for today's games, and... 
gonna end the Warcraft Day stream over here and maybe maybe do some 20xx or something. Anyways, thanks for joining in. Seeing you on the next episode. Warcraft Day.